everyone, welcome back to Installation 00 and the Armoury. This is where all weapons from Halo Law will be featured and analysed in detail. And today we look at the Focus Rifle. Let's begin. The Type 52 Special Application Rifle, or T-52 SAR, commonly known as the Focus Rifle, is a directed energy weapon used by the Covenant. Manufactured in the Covenant's assembly forges, it is interesting in that it wasn't encountered by UNSC forces until 2552, the final year of the Human Covenant War. The Focus Rifle is a sniper-style weapon that, despite its visual similarities to the Type 50 Particle Beam Rifle, functions quite differently being designed for ranged suppression rather than for an anti-personnel role. The smooth and organic appearance and purple coloration of the weapon is reflective of typical Covenant aesthetic tendencies. As such, its ergonomic grip is designed for Sangheili use. The Focus Rifle measures 57.2 inches or 145 centimeters in length, 7.9 inches or 20 centimeters in width, 24.3 inches or 62 centimeters in height, and weighs 37.7 pounds or 17.1 kilograms. The Focus Rifle mimics, although not entirely copies, some elements of the sterilization beams used by Aggressor Sentinels. Though the magnetic accelerators and particle guide beam emitters are novel creations of Covenant origin. And while it is iterated on multiple occasions that the Covenant were not innovative, but instead imitative, whereby they simply mimicked other technologies that they came across, as opposed to innovations that humanity are well known for, the features present in the focus rifle do provide counterpoints to this idea. Instead of firing a single beam in one shot like the Covenant Beam Rifle, the Focus Rifle fires a continuous purple-tinted beam of magnetically contained plasma, similar in operation to the Sentinel Beam, the forerunner weapon from which the T-52 SAR was reverse-engineered. One would assume that the term Focus Rifle comes from the use of optical and electromagnetic focus technology, whereby the stream of highly energetic plasma is focused by something akin to gravitational lensing, but rather than using gravitics, using specifically electromagnetism, with overlapping electromagnetic fields providing a Fresnel lens type focusing array. The plasma is thus formed into a cylindrical shape and directed through a channel of electromagnetic coils, forming the very precise beam of the focus rifle. Like most Covenant infantry weapons, the weapon draws its power from a plasma battery. However, due to the weapon's constant firing mechanism, the weapon requires high power expenditure and the battery is depleted very quickly. The exact mechanism by which this weapon functions was under active investigation by the UNSC as of August 2552. It is yet to be seen whether any technologies have been reverse engineered from these investigations. The weapon's name and visual appearance suggest perhaps a shared operating mechanism with the much larger scarab-mounted focus cannon. Again, in the case of the scarab gun, it is assumed that optical and electromagnetic focusing arrays are used in order to focus the intense plasma beam down to a highly focused and intense beam of plasma. The weapon comes equipped with a 3.5 to 9.5 magnification scope and uses the same SmartLink firmware as the particle beam rifle, but uses a marginally different scope. As with the Particle Beam Rifle, the Smart Link feed shows the weapon's remaining power and accumulated heat level. The link also displays diagnostic information and allows semi-automatic adjustment of the plasma beam angle when interlinked with the hardware in Sangheili Combat Harnesses or Kigyar Marksman sets. This provides a limited amount of moving target tracking without the firer having to adjust their aim point at distant targets. These targeting protocols are unusual and incompatible with most interlink translation software. The ammunition of the Focus Rifle is an electromagnetically guided plasma likely refined from Xeon gas. The plasma itself is fed from a 100 shot pulsed power cell in a plasma generator type operation. It is thus assumed that both the Xeon gas and a powerful energy source are contained within the plasma battery and the weapon itself uses the energy source to energize the Xeon gas to the point that it becomes a plasma. Its rate of fire can broadly be considered as being fully automatic and even when attempting to chart the beam's travel speed in game, the muzzle velocity appears to be something approaching near instantaneous. If this is a result of game mechanics, then there is no extended law that gives an exact muzzle velocity. 
If, however, these in-game physics could be taken at face value, I'd argue that the beam itself is not necessarily a plasma, but rather a continuous particle beam, as its suggested muzzle velocity implies that the projectile, quote-unquote, travels close to the speed of light, which is nearly impossible given the size of the weapon, and since plasma has mass, getting it to travel at the speed of light would take nearly infinite energy to do so. The focus rifle is very effective at depleting energy shielding and is devastating against organic targets. The beam's intense heat causes flash vaporization of organic matter, causing the water content of the body of the victim to instantly boil off into steam. This process is so rapid that the gases expand at explosive forces literally blowing the body apart. Even a very brief shot to an extremity causes what can only be described as a blast injury, where the sudden, violent boiling of the body's fluids can blow off a limb and also be directed into the body, eviscerating tissues as it does so. This makes the weapon devastatingly effective against infantry, and its long-range nature and continuous firing stream can allow an operator to effectively disable large troop emplacements while also being out of range of most counterattacks. The impact to the morale of surviving troops would likely sap any desire to continue fighting. The beam fired by the weapon is, unfortunately, extraordinarily visible. Firing the weapon immediately reveals the user's position, Although highly effective at depleting energy shields, the weapon is only marginally effective against armoured targets, causing negligible damage to vehicles and requiring continuous fire to ensure lethality against organic targets wearing armour. If the weapon overheats, it will automatically vent excess plasma, burning the user and rendering the weapon inoperable for several seconds. It's also likely that it uses some of its ammunition in this process. The focus rifle is something of an oddity within the Covenant arsenal, and while immensely enjoyable to use, it is horrific to be on the receiving end of, and if in a pinch, is only really effective against lightly armoured infantry, making its application in battle rather limited. Even with these limitations, there is something wonderfully addictive about firing this weapon. One would assume it would be particularly effective in combat against the Flood, but we'll have to wait and see if this weapon will ever be available in such a context. But we can hope. Thanks for watching. Stick your comments down below. I look forward to what you have to say. I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons Neek, the silent cartographer, Brian, Sebastian, Red Sea Darian, Stork of the Realms, Starlight, Legions Lost, TJ Jazz, Falcon X003, Alvin, Mr. Fell, Flaming Halo, The Revanche, Viking, The TG7, and Schneidish, The Holders of the Mantle, My Glorious Reclaimers, My Loyal Metarchs, and all the other patrons that have jumped aboard to support the channel. You guys are awesome, and all this wouldn't be possible without you. If you love Halo Lore discussed to insane levels of detail, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you'll tell the second a new video hits the shelves. Be sure to support us on all major social media channels including Discord and if you really love the channel, consider heading over to Patreon and supporting the channel over there. It would mean the world to me and would free up more of my time for me to put into this content and other Halo related goodness. Take it easy everyone and find peace in the domain.